Okay, hey y'all, welcome back. So, hold up, <coughs> my voice all crappy. So this is a Leo reading. So, the cards that we got was the lady with her titties hanging out in reverse. Um, the weed whacking thing. And the boat going over the mountain. So the overall energy for you guys. Um, <clears throat> like somebody is really not feeling like attractive or up to sex. Or they just really not. Hold on, I wish I can get it in a better angle. But the light is just super bright. So I'm hoping that you guys can like actually see the card. But um, it's like somebody is not really feeling attractive or. Feeling like, you know, they not in no sexy kind of mood. What these other signs had this, um, I had a doctor just reading for us. But I don't, th I think it was like a while ago, but I'm not sure. Somebody is basically like cutting shit out their lives right now. They more focused on like cutting out a whole bunch of shit that didn't happen or whatever the case may be. Probably getting their lives together or whatever. You know, moving over, sailing over difficult fucking times with this mountain going up boat going over the mountain okay so the signs that i see in this card is okay we got the ace of spade in reverse so yeah somebody is like they really not giving i kind of feel like somebody ain't sleeping with somebody right now until they get to the bottom of something you know something that somebody need to really need to get to the bottom of and they're not really fucking with this person like that um because with the ace of swords in the reverse, it's like somebody is like trying to play slick, crack slick, or they just unclear of, you know, they're trying to find the facts of the matter for real. So we got Gray, Gemini, Libra, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have, yeah, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So somebody got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in there. But um, somebody is taking that time, they waiting for the right opportunity. Okay, to make the play, like that's what I see here. With this uh Jack of Diamonds and this Ten of Diamonds. Yeah, then we have the ten of we got the ten of um speed and the three of speed, yeah. And then they'll be able to like I said, they waiting for the right time to make the play. I kind of feel like this is going to be like a difficult, this is something difficult for somebody to do right here. Like, but ultimately, the shit had to come to an end because it was basically like destructive. This shit wasn't good for somebody as far as like emotional purposes or uh, I just feel like they just cutting out all like the bullshit. You know, somebody is cutting all this shit out in avoidance of being hurt or betrayed or something like that. Okay, so we have the clock in reverse here, and we have seduction. Yeah, so <laughs> this is shit that I just said. It's like it ain't the right time to put the seductive moves on somebody or something like that, or they just ain't feeling all that into you, like romance and shit. Like we have romantic feelings. There is romantic feelings here that somebody had for somebody. And we had to make the effort, but I kind of feel like somebody could be waiting for another person to make the effort, but I kind of feel like somebody want to make certain of something, making sure that somebody is certain that, uh, it's, somebody have a lot of questions, okay, that I kind of feel like that's unanswered or that they feeling like a little doubtful in, in the connection or something like that. We have surrender. It says, at times we must surrender the old before embracing new. Oh, before before something new can enter our lives. Let's go. All will work out. Okay? So I kind of feel like somebody is surrendering something old. Okay, putting it into something old for something new here. And then we have trust. And it says, transformation comes through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So, we got the two 
We got the Ten of Wands in reverse. What is this? Um, I think it's the Temperance card in this one. Temperance. And um, Ten of Swords again. Okay, yeah, so somebody's waiting patiently before they put something to an end or something like that is what I was saying. Somebody could be, this. It, I kind of feel like somebody could have met at a bar or some shit could have went on. Somebody could have had went to a bar with somebody then ended up, you know, look at how he, this motherfucker just creeping out in the middle of the night and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While the person is asleep. So I kind of feel like somebody had met somebody in a bar or this is what somebody be doing, like meeting people in the bar. Like I kind of feel like somebody just met somebody in the bar and fucked them. Like I don't know what that's about, but yeah. And then we got this ten of um wands in reverse too. Well, the ten of wands is in reverse. That's the only one in reverse. Okay, so I kind of feel like somebody is like, I don't think this situation is public because look, they all like this public um, fair or whatever. See? This is like a fair or some shit. Hold up, I wish I could get the cards. But look, I think this is the good way. Um, yeah, they like at a public fair or some type of like public event or something like that. And I kind of feel like they were coming out in reverse. Like I kind of feel like Somebody either taking somebody out in public or whatever this is, whatever, like. I don't know. Well, I was about to say a lot is happening behind closed doors. That's what I was getting. You know, I don't see a door, literally, but that was like it popping from my head. But because, you know, I kind of feel like they're not going into the fair together. You know, that's like a public place. And by it being in reverse, it's like, this somebody don't want to be seen with somebody or... Or some shit like that. They'd rather hook up at the bar and then sneak out the bed at nighttime while the other one is sleeping and shit. Or, you know, get fucked up, get drinks, uh, get drinks, have, be married, you know. Whatever y'all do, whatever. They just like to, you know, get a little relaxed first and then fucking dip out and I kind of feel like somebody is like not with that shit no more or something like that. So let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Hold up. So I got three decks now added into <laughs> all these fucking cards, y'all. <laughs> I got three decks on all these cards, y'all. Look. <laughs> so I already had the regular ride right away in here and um the regular water right away, and then the other one is called the Smiths. No, something Smiths. Right away Smiths. Or whatever. It's called something like that. And those are like the little old timey looking ones. They look. Um, they're not as bright as the other ones or whatever. And um, but those are the ones that got the family card that are all that you always receive. They can pull out the family card and um. And then we got the, the um, it's like a the family card and it's another lover's card, I think. Two lovers. Hold on. I think that's what I was saying. <laughs> um, so I got those two mixed in here and then I just added the, uh, let me show you. <laughs> now I just added this deck and this one is the hip hop, hold up, not the hip hop deck, but um, this one is the, I don't know, I call it the hip hop deck because this is like the first one that I, you know, that I seen that had like black people and shit in it other than the, uh, other than my, the original one that I had got the Miss Cleo um, deck or whatever. That was like one of my first decks that I had got like a long ass time ago. That bitch was hella cheap. Probably still is and shit, but those was, that, that's the one based in Egypt. So other than that, this was like more, this one had black people in this one. So I was like, okay. I mean, it's different races in this one. So it's not, it's multicultural, but you know what I'm saying? Not to say I only wanted to pay that, but you know, 
that was like the second deck that I came across that had people like me in it. So I purchased it. So I got all these decks mixed together now. I realized they were the same size. Like once I put that, <laughs> I was like, uh uh. So now I added, I just added that, the one deck. I don't know what it's called right now. I think it's called Hip Hop. Uh, I don't know why I want to keep calling that, but it's not called that. It's called something else. <laughs> For sure it is called something else. I just don't know what it is right now. <laughs> um, if I remember later, I'll put it in, in the uh, comments. <clears throat> Alright, let's go on. Let's see how crazy this about to be. Me shopping all these big ass fucking drawers. Alright. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups here. Okay, and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So I'm kind of getting like somebody don't want a commitment or... Even though somebody loves somebody so much in this situation or may have a lot of emotions or something for somebody here, they know that this shit ain't going to really, like, pan out the way that they want it to. It's not going to be a successful connection or this situation ain't going to lead to stability. And that's why the first wheel was in reverse. Like, somebody ain't really trying to burden themselves. Like, they're not really trying to put themselves through the situation, so... Because they already know, like, I mean, they know that they want love. They're looking for love or something here. And something just ain't really going to lead to stability. You know, wealthy life, whatever somebody see for themselves in their future. Wealthy life, you know, a successful family lineage, you know, children, married, whatever, the whole nine. We have the moon here. So this could be like emotional for somebody to do or this is really emotional or something like that or somebody didn't have children or somebody can't produce air. Uh, I said air. See, I watch too much on Game of Thrones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces or Pisces or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I don't know, like. I don't know what that was about. Somebody couldn't produce air. That probably was for another uh, Game of Thrones streams, but now they um now they on House of Dragons. <laughs> House of Dragons. <laughs> All right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. I'm getting distracted like a man. All right. Um, this thing is popping out. So we have this Three of Pentacles here. <laughs> so somebody could have been hiding a secret, hiding something here, something about a third person in the mix, because this is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, and the two of swords, and I say, like, somebody was indecisive and not sure what he was wanting to do at first, or I kind of feel like somebody's waiting for the right time to, like, I kind of feel like somebody is certain in what they need to do, and like I said, this could be, like, more of this situation is too emotional, like, for somebody to really make it, even though they know, like, this shit is the best choice, or something like that, somebody could still be stuck in the middle, but I kind of feel like they ready to get to the bottom of the shit, you know, and ready to cut some shit out here. And I say they was waiting to, like, make the play. I kind of feel like somebody's waiting for more evidence or waiting to get somebody caught up or what. I don't fucking know. 
We got Tar Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, Swords, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody want to make some shit clear. Like somebody smart as shit. They're not going to let nobody sit and run them over or whatever. Or run through them or run over them. Or somebody just indecisive about an air sign. Or an air sign is indecisive here. Judgment. You know, somebody could be indecisive. Okay, trying to get their thoughts clear, or whatever the case may be, in order for them to make this decision. And I say, like, this is some kind of, like, tough decision here. I don't know if they got kids together or what. Um, you know, if there's kids together here. Um, and like I said, like, somebody, <laughs> they don't never go out to, like, public places or go out anywhere or do anything. Like, all they do is get drunk or smoke or chill or whatever, and then get fucked, and then the other one's creeping on. Like, that's what I see here. I don't know how to say this shit. Okay. We have a tower in the reverse. So somebody came to some type of awakening or realization about this shit. This was a rude awakening. Well, this was a... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but due to this awakening or something that somebody had about this, then that choose them to move on to a new direction or try to choose another path or some shit. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Aries. Um, who else we got here? Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Damn, yeah, so somebody make the plans to move forward or get the fuck out of here. So this could be the ass, the fire sign is doing this shit or whatever. Let's make a plan to do this or this is somebody that's connected. This could be the fire sign significant person situation. This is what they plan on doing. Getting the fuck out of whatever that is they was doing. Like, I kind of feel like they could have been hitting, you know, whatever. But I kind of feel like they decided that that's all that shit was going to be and decided to get the fuck out of it or was trying to make plans to get away from it. Okay, and this could be, by it being like this, it looks like it could be into the direction of the fire sign, if that's the case. Because you know what I'm saying, whatever, however it applies. Okay, so we have romantic feelings here. And we have make the effort. Okay, so there is romantic feelings in the situation. And I kind of do, now I see what's going on. Somebody kind of do want to make the effort. Okay, um, then I feel like somebody could have been indecisive or unsure about another person here or whether or not they wanted to work it out. But due to a lot of emotions or them, it's like emotions versus logic. <laughs> you know. Judgment, okay, so somebody could be making a decision here, you know, to make the effort here because they do love them, you know what I'm saying, this is what I was basically saying, you know, Ace of Pentacles, yeah, giving it a brand new opportunity, we're going to give it a go again, you know, but somebody better not fuck this up or this is what I'm getting, like, somebody's about to get this opportunity here, or a new opportunity, after they make some type of decision. And it's like, somebody better not fuck this up, so I kind of feel like it's going to be like, cutting out all lies, cutting out all bullshits, cutting out all, you know, whatever the fuck this is, you know, going out fucking, meeting bitches at the bar, zipping off in the middle of the night after you fuck them, like... <laughs> That shit is really, I feel like a lot of that is about to get cut out here. And then I kind of feel like that'll be like the difficult point where somebody even triumph over this shit with the boat going over the moon, over the, I said over the moon, over the, uh, what is that, mountain. You have that. 
So this is definitely a change. Um, I'm not getting ends in at all. Hold up. Like two of the same one. So we have Dev. Okay. So yeah. I'm trying to feel like somebody is giving somebody another chance, another opportunity to make these changes or to end something. Like I said, somebody could be, um, because I see like different situations, but this can be whoever this is that's chasing this fire sign and moving, making this plan to move towards us, move towards this fire sign as well. And this could be bad energy. Like, this could be all the shit that's going on with them moving towards this fire sign. Or this can be fire sign actions moving towards somebody else. However, that is it. You know. But this is for the person that the fire sign that's chasing the fire sign, then I feel like this, uh, like I said, it's, it's another opportunity that's being offered here and somebody better not fuck it up. Somebody's definitely giving somebody another um, chance to change or fix the shit, you know, or put an end to some shit. Like, you know, this is the last chance. This is it. This is the last straw. Like, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius. So somebody ain't giving up the pussy until somebody make these changes. We have Page of Wands. It's the only way she can move forward. It's the only way we can make baby steps to go forward. That's what you gotta do. I don't know how else to say it. This is what somebody is saying to somebody. This is what I'm picking up. <laughs> Somebody is saying this shit to that person. This is how I'm picking it up. Yeah. Okay. Two of uh, cups at the bottom. I'm just picking it up on the bottom. For real. That's how they're going to move forward with this relationship. Yeah. But somebody need to move away from all this toxic shit that's stressing them out. You know, comic partners. Uh, going probably going to the bar. This could be somebody problem. Keep going to the bar, drinking and shit. You know, then you up here. You keep going out to the bar for what? <laughs> what you going out there for? Like, go get the bar and come home. The fuck. And then we got uh, <laughs> yeah, they need to move away from that type of shit. Like, you could bring the bar home. Like, how build your bar and put all your faith and things in that. <laughs> You know, that's how you gotta do it. <laughs> if they want to drink, let them drink that alcohol. Cause it seems like when they go out drinking, they picking up that shit or something. <laughs> that shit ain't good. All right, so let's move on to the money. So, for this portion, you got, what is this? Seven of Swords. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, because in the next video, the lighting might be better, but I'm doing all of the rest of the signs tonight, so all the rest of the signs going to have the same damn lighting right now. Two of Swords in the uh, reverse. Queen of Swords, damn, it's a lot of swords. And what is this one? Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh, didn't we get that card up here from there? Well, let me see. How was that? Oh, it was on this. Oh, we got seven of uh, spades on that too. Then it was on here. I just don't know what they put down. I don't know. It probably came out and checked it somewhere else. I can't even find the card, but whatever. Um, but this is your money, though, your financials. It's like somebody could be trying to steal from you or steal something from you. 
um, and thinking that you have no fucking crib or whatever the case may be. Like, I'm trying to get somebody could be trying to steal money from you or take from you and basically, like, rob you blind and they think that you don't know. And I kind of feel like with this two of swords coming out in reverse, it's like you ain't no delusion. Man. You know, you know exactly what the fuck is going on or you know that the money don't look right or you know that somebody's trying to take from you or somebody's trying to take some shit from you or steal from you. Yeah, you smart as fuck, got the queen of uh, swords. You know, there's nothing wrong with your fucking intellect when it comes to this money shit or this business shit or whatever the case may be. So, it's like, how the fuck can they think that they can play you? Like, And we got the ace of swords in reverse. Like, how the fuck can they think that they can play you when, like, you don't know shit? Like, you don't know nothing here? So we got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, so that can be your chart heavy, or this is the person that's stealing from you, or they can be your boss. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm trying to get in as far as, like, the type of job that somebody do. I don't, I'm not getting, like, the type of somebody, the type of job that somebody do, it could be, like, secretive, but they got to make moves. Um... Secretively, they can't, like, they're not open with, like, how they make moves or whatever the case may be. So, this can be, like, an evening to night job. It's definitely not something that they're doing, like, out and broad in daylight. Like, so, they definitely not outside. So, possibly into, like, a building. If it is in broad daylight, it's, I mean, not in broad daylight, but it's, it's something that they're dealing with at night. Um, what is it? Okay. Um, okay, we have justice here. <laughs> So Libra here, so somebody has Libra heavy in their chart. But that boss can be a Libra, but it's a lot of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here. I mean, all of them cards that came out was air. So yeah, somebody wants some justice or wants something to be made just. Okay, when it comes to um, this work cycle, somebody tried to steal something or something like that. And I kind of feel like somebody's going to get what it is that they owe, that's owed to them. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, but the court system could be taking so slow or the shit just keep taking so slow or it's like somebody could come, like whatever this is, like I said, somebody really thought that they could play with your money for real, like get away with it, try to steal it or whatever the case may be, they thought that you wasn't going to fucking figure it out or that you was delusional or that you was like, Whatever, but the whole time it's like, bitch, I know what the fuck is going on, you know, X, Y, and Z. So I kind of feel like somebody's ready to get justice on this shit because at the end of the day, it's like they ain't slow. Like, they already know what to do. Somebody probably got a court case in or ready to put a hit out on somebody or however the fuck you, <laughs> I'm just saying. However, okay, you settle your, you know, your scores with people. Somebody about to figure out a way and they about to get this score settled. Seven of Cups, yeah, this could be from a job that they walked away from or left. Okay, this could be yeah, from a job they walked away from or left. They could owe them money. I'm just trying to reposition myself. Um, so I'm drinking some water.
All right. So it's like, yeah, they can really get justice on what this is. This could have been a job that somebody had left away from or something like that. But they owe them money or something. But you're not going to just let this shit slide. Like... <laughs> Whoever this is, they fucking took this money or whatever this is, they, they took this money or something from you. It's like, you're not going to let this shit slide, like, at all. This is what I'm getting with this Eight of Cups in Reverse. Knight of, Knight of Cups in Reverse and Justice. Like, you're not letting this shit slide. Okay, we got King of um, Cups in reverse. Yeah, you going in this bitch heartless. Like, if I say all that shit with swords, like, you ain't giving a damn a kid in the world. You ain't giving a fuck about who who got kids <laughs> and who the fuck they got to feed or what the fuck they had to do with the money. You don't give two fucks. That was your shit. <laughs> okay. The sun. So I kind of feel like you could be holding back your money or holding on to money or this could have put you in like some type of bond because of somebody had did this shit though. But you're going to find out who the fuck did this shit. Yeah. And this could have a lot to do with like somebody that's tied into a marriage or some type of commitment or some type of government agency or like, I don't know, to make it work for like the government agency or something or this could be a government agency like unemployment or some shit like that, but whatever the case may be, somebody owed money, <laughs> somebody was stealing money or they didn't get what the fuck they was deserved because they thought that somebody was slow or whatever the case may be, this could be even like social security money. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom. We already seen this card though, right here. What's behind the Queen of Swords and Temperance comes back out? The Temperance was in a love zone. I kind of feel like there's a need for somebody to cool their temper because they really high-headed. Like Queen of Swords, um, Temperance, and King of uh, King of Swords. Like somebody like will go the fuck off. Like their mouth is. <laughs> I would hate to be like on an argument on the other side with this fucking person because they would chew the shit out of their ass. Like they would have somebody fucking crying like a motherfucker at the end of this fucking argument. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, and I kind of feel like. Somebody is needing to, like, calm that shit the fuck down or something like that. Like, try to, like, temper themselves, like, balance themselves because, yeah. Then I say, like, somebody don't give a fuck, like, how, uh, yeah, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> I gotta feel like somebody don't care who somebody is working with or who somebody colluded with or whatever the case may be. I kind of feel like they still, like, they gonna be moving forward with whatever plan they have to, uh, to get this money or whatever the case may be. I kind of feel like somebody is like playing with somebody with that money. Like stole it. So this is what I'm picking up here for the finances. But the type of job um, that somebody could be working here now. Several of them popped up. Um, aside from what I had said before. This could be somebody that work in the legal system. Somebody that's like paid to find out information or supposed to be gathering information or whatever here. Somebody that has like, somebody that has like the authority to have like the legal 
like authority over somebody. So I'm getting like somebody could be like over top of somebody or it's like joint accounts or some shit like that. Like I'm getting something like that. Like somebody is in control of somebody else's finances or joint account. So they could be like a group of people or multiple people working together or something. So this could be like a group activity if this is like a business thing. If somebody is playing with somebody on the business end about, like I said, they didn't get the fucking money that they was deserved or they were supposed to get it or something. Like, and they're not giving a fuck like who they got feed or how many, like I said, somebody here don't give a fuck. Like they will say what the fuck. Like, what should I tell you? I'm trying to see if I see any other cards. Um, maybe somebody that's a mediator or I'm getting like somebody that speaks to somebody else or somebody that's a mediator. Like stopping other people from being impulsive or making harsh decisions or rash decisions or like a job that like forces people to think like intellectually or <laughs> I don't fucking know a therapist. Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't fucking know a therapist maybe. <laughs> yeah, a therapist. I say that because it is I I'll buy in the Queen of Swords. The temperance. How to yeah, it's like it's like trying to like balance like troubled people or troubled teams, like <laughs> troubled teams or troubled people or young people or something like that. Like to keep them from going into like the wrong direction. So this could be like a counselor, like I said, or some shit. Okay, so we have Taurus. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, okay, um, So the things that you guys need to work on or things that you are working towards and the potential blockages is this portion. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Lovers, Six of Wands, the Three Cups, Pages, Prince of Swords, King of Disc, and Five of Swords. So the things that you may need to work on is putting endings to connections or relationships that put you in third party or that's just a lot of drama or a lot of issues, okay? That, that has a lot of conflict to it. Um, okay. 
Okay, there may be a lot of people that's like, since the ending or since somebody broke up from a connection or left some type of connection or whatever the case may be, or since somebody was betrayed or something in some type of relationship, it's like people was like watching them, paying attention to them, like trying to find out like what the fuck is going on, like with you and all that shit, like, and this is you, I guess. Trying to see, like, what's going on with you and, you know, seeing if you're successful or got money or, you know, I think they're just trying to be nosy and see what's going on with, like, what you got going on. I kind of feel like that's something that somebody wants to do. Okay, um, and this, I don't know why this came, this should have came up in the job, but maybe this is something that you need to do or something you're just trying to do, but somebody wants to be, like, in the limelight, like, in social media or have a lot of attention, um, and I'm getting followers, too, so this could be somebody who, like, has a social media channel or wants, like, a follower following or a lot of followers, but I kind of feel like Somebody needs to do the research or whatever the case may be so they can get successful or be successful or something like that. Or I kind of feel like they may get some type of information or some type of help from friends, maybe. But there's going to be some type of information or something or something that somebody needs to do. Do a lot more research or something like that in order to get that success here. Okay? We got this file. A swords in reverse, so this is like a victory, but this don't look like no fucking victory, but to my eye, I'm about to get pissed out and shit. Yeah, people, a lot of people is paying attention to like what somebody is doing, like they wish that they could see what they see or see out of their eyes or some shit like that, I don't know. I'm getting kind of like an envious type of energy here. Well, I don't know what they see in you. What do they see in her? Okay, so the two cards that came out was the Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Ten of Swords. So yeah, after some type of ending or after some type of betrayal or something like that, I kind of feel like somebody just need to like take a break, okay, and put work into their cells or work. Or somebody needs to take a break, or this is what somebody is doing after this ending. Taking a break, resting, recuperating, and working. You know, trying to build themselves up or keep themselves busy. Or this is what somebody needs to do after this ending or something. Ten of Swords coming back out again with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it was an ending because of lack of passion, lack, lack of sex, lack of attraction. Like, and this is clarifying the lovers. Somebody is in a connection where they're not physically attracted to somebody or, you know, there's like a passion or whatever. I kind of feel like they need to let that shit go because if that's like your sole reason for getting a connection, you know, if you know that, like I said at the beginning, like somebody know that something ain't going to work out for them or whatever the case may be. You know, if you know that you're not really sexually connected to this person or, you know, not attracted, then I would end the shit too. Yeah, and the Eight of Pentacles came back out working. So, yeah, somebody could be working on this or, like I said, throwing themselves into work or working on ending some type of connection or something that they're not passionate about or or some type of, um, and this one has to be a relationship. This could be like that business shit. Like I said, it could be a group of people, like, involved in some like, money that's getting like, fucked up.
Alright, let's see. 61 long. It's like this video is long. High priestess, yeah, see people be secretly admiring you or watching you or something like that or getting a lot, you get a lot of attention from people. Okay, it could be females because all these fucking females in the group talking to each other. So it could be females that's like keeping you out or something. Okay, or something like that. If somebody is like not happy with this shit. Okay, or they don't like it. Or females that secretly don't like them. Okay, secretly unhappy, watching from the sidelines. So we got Leo, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, I mean, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, somebody needs to find out, um, come up with some type of plan to make them more stable or it's about to get some type of information that's going to, like, make shit balance out or get them to be more on a stable, um, playing field. Five of Cups. What is the regret? Eight of Pentacles or Seven of Pentacles. So somebody could regret, you know, like I said, putting energy into this, putting money into this situation, you know, building here. Like I said, like this is a lot of money or something. Somebody's not really playing with their fucking money, but I kind of feel like some information is going to come out about like how to get things stable or to get this situation stable or whatever when it comes to this money. But this Queen of Pentacles, somebody coming out. They regret this, you know, waiting around for this money or somebody regrets. Um, I kind of get like somebody was like relying on somebody else to give them money or, or somebody regret investing into the situation or to this company or something like here. We got Queen of Pentacles again, so that's what I'm good. Source Virgo Capricorn. Um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Somebody didn't see somebody's success or was trying, like I said, like somebody didn't know they was going to blow up or it was like somebody didn't want to see some somebody successful here. That's what I was getting, like somebody want to see through their eyes or um, somebody is a seer or could see shit and somebody wants to like damage their eyes. Like, why the fuck all them sores? We have Empress, Lovers, okay, I'm not, I'll take all of these, whatever. Empress, Lovers, The World, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Ten of Pentacles. So whoever this is, they have the ability to like, do what it is they want. Somebody's about to get what it is that they want here. Okay. Um, riches or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that somebody really wants. I feel like they're able to get that kind of feeling. You need to be patient. Okay. Hang in there. Or whatever the case may be. And this could have to do with love. Uh, love, romance, or, you know, some type of decision that somebody needed to make here. Okay. Um, in order to gain this victory. This could be somebody who could see. Um... Spiritually gifted here, we have the Empress with the Five of Swords and the Lovers. This is somebody who's, um, I kind of feel like this pathway, whatever this pathway is, is somebody will be led, led towards once they get once they get this information that's going to help them regain themselves or re, rebalance themselves here or whatever. This is for whoever had made this bad investment into some type of connection and they mad they did this shit and now they're trying to fix it, but it's cool. They trying to fix it, so whatever. But, you know, this is wh whoever this is I'm picking up on. It's like, 
they make good decisions for their children or whatever the case may be just to be a mother. It's like this is somebody's main motivation to have kids or whatever the case may be, but I kinda feel like somebody needs to be patient. I kinda feel like things is changing or some type of cycle or some type of completion is about to happen or needs to happen here or something needs to come to some type of close in order for to for somebody to get what it is that they want. Okay, so this is the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. So the one step up from both of these is the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. Basically, what somebody really wanted here. So we have all the fixed signs: Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sage, to, um, Aquarius. Um, I said all of them already. <laughs> all right. So let's get the advice, and then we can go. All right, um, let's go. Like I said, if somebody's about to get some type of information or something that's going to move them along forward towards what the pathway they need to be that's going to that's going to lead them to success. We have set your course. Okay, so I kind of feel like this is somebody who is in control of their own destiny. Like you make the rules, you set the course, you set the tone. Okay, and whatever is going on, it's like you make the rules. You know, whatever is something you need to do, you set the you set the standards, you set the course, you set the tone. Whether it's a relationship, a business partnership, whatever, it's like, you know, set your fucking terms and let these motherfuckers they need to abide by it. They need to abide by it. Who else? You know, no that be getting cut the fuck off, moving on, <laughs> don't need no headaches, like, shit like that. We got all must have prizes. Okay, so this says all must have prizes here. So, I'm trying to get in the air. Somebody's like really expecting something at the end of this um, time. Let me see what it says at the bottom of this. Let me really read this. Okay, yeah, somebody is trying to prove something to everyone. Okay, or prove something to somebody, but I kind of feel like you need to set your standards or set your. Yeah, then I just got finished saying that. Set, you set the ball, you set the tone, like. You know what I'm saying? If they don't abide by it, oh well, all must have prizes. You know? And then at the bottom of here is a trying to please everybody. So stop being a people pleaser. Okay? Let these motherfuckers work for it. And then we have falling. Yeah, I was just going to end up falling deeper and deeper into the shadows. This is for whoever be picking up people at the bar. We have money, okay. Make it rain. <laughs> so some money is getting ready to come through to somebody. Somebody's be about to be able to make this shit rain for real. And I say just keep your mind clear and set your goals, you know. Continue on with the goal or the plan. We have don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. It says you need some fucking time alone. And you know why, okay. Then we have the blessing of, of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. So cancer had this. So I kind of feel like God is going to give you the blessings that you need. And I kind of feel like it's not going to be any hurt, no pain, whatever is for you from God ain't going to be no pain, sorrow, hurt, any of that shit. Like you'll know because you won't be crying. You won't be feeling any doubts or any doubts. 
you you ain't gonna be like I mean you ain't not had no doubt. Whatever doubts you have, like I said, you will get to the bottom of it. You know, the dip it in the bud so you can get like over it. Over it. But I kinda feel like, you know, whatever is giving people God is not gonna hurt, you know. And then we have uh Taurus Venus. Um rising Gemini. Aries Moon. Virgo Moon. I don't even know what the hell those things are, but whatever. Cancer. Then I say cancer had this card. A look, cancer came out. And um rising This is the reading, you guys, and hopefully it resonated with y'all. Like the video and comment if you want, and I'll see you in the next one.